With the ascension of a new monarch, the lesser-known members of the royal family, including David Armstrong Jones, the second Earl of Snowdon, have once again come into the public eye. David Albert Charles was born at Clarence House on November 3, 1961. He is the son of the late Princess Margaret and renowned photographer Antony Armstrong Jones, the first Earl of Snowdon. He is the brother of Lady Sarah Chatto and King Charles's first cousin, with the late Queen Elizabeth II being his aunt. He was fifth in line to the throne at the time of his birth. Currently, he holds the 24th position in the line of succession. Previously known as Viscount Linley until 2017, he inherited the Snowden title following his father's death. Let's now explore David's life, including his furniture-making career and how his mother nurtured his love for the arts. His early life and education. David was baptized in the illustrious music room at Buckingham Palace, with notable figures such as his aunt Queen Elizabeth and others, including Lady Elizabeth Cavendish, Patrick Plunkett, the seventh Baron Plunkett, Lord Rupert Neville and Simon Phipps, serving as his godparents. He spent much of his early life in a sprawling four-story wing of Kensington Palace. At age five, he began his education in the Buckingham Palace schoolroom, where he joined his cousin Prince Andrew for lessons. In his late teens, David experienced his parents' acrimonious divorce. Still, despite this, Antony Armstrong Jones maintained a close relationship with the royal family and even photographed the queen for her 80th birthday portrait. David's educational path took him to several independent schools. He first attended Gibbs Pre-Preparatory School, now known as Collingham College in Kensington, London. He then moved on to the Pre-Preparatory section of Ashdown House School in East Sussex, followed by Millbrook House School near Abingdon, Oxfordshire. His journey culminated at B. Dale's School, where his passion for arts and crafts flourished. Yet, his thirst for knowledge and craftsmanship led him to further studies at Parnham House, a distinguished institution for wood artisans in the charming town of Beeminster in Dorset. Between 1980 and 1982, he immersed himself in the world of woodworking, honing his skills and expanding his creative horizons. While his immediate family is notable, it is worth mentioning that other than his sister, Lady Sarah, he also has two half-sisters, Lady Frances von Hofmannsthal and Polly Fry, and and a half-brother Jasper Cable Alexander, on settling down as a family man and eventual separation. Despite his previous romantic involvements with Susanna Constantine and Nicola Fornby, David tied the knot with Serena Stanhope in 1993. Their paths crossed when David was commissioned to create furniture for Serena's father several years prior. Serena, the daughter of the Earl of Harrington and a distant cousin of Princess Diana, exchanged vows with David at St. Margaret's Church in Westminster. The wedding ceremony witnessed the presence of esteemed guests, including David's parents, the Queen, and Princess Diana herself, among others. Serena's choice of a Bruce Robbins gown garnered praise, as it closely resembled Princess Margaret's iconic Norman Hartnell wedding dress in 1960. This nod to the past added an air of elegance and nostalgia to the occasion, capturing the attention of onlookers and admirers. On July 1, 1999, they celebrated the birth of their son, Charles Patrick Inigo Armstrong Jones. Three years later, on May 14, 2002, their daughter, Lady Margarita Elizabeth Rose Alain Armstrong Jones, came into the world. As the son of the second Earl of Snowdon, Charles became Viscount Linley. He attended Eton College alongside his cousin, Arthur Chatto. Charles then pursued design engineering at Loughborough University. Though he prefers to maintain a low profile, he now works as a musician. He is very into his orchestral music. He is self-taught. He can sing, play the piano, and the guitar. On the other hand, Lady Margarita gained early exposure as a bridesmaid at the wedding of Prince William and Catherine Middleton in 2011 when she was just eight years old. After completing prep school, Margarita enrolled at St. Mary's Ascot Boarding School before transferring to Tudor Hall to pursue A-levels in photography, history of art, and jewelry design. Lady Margarita later attended Oxford Brookes University, alternating between photography and events management courses. Currently residing in Paris with her two flatmates, Margarita focuses on her studies in jewelry and photography at the Haute École de Joaillerie. After being married for 26 years, David and Serena separated in February 2020. A spokesperson for the couple released a statement saying, The Earl and Countess of Snowdon have mutually agreed to end their marriage and proceed with a divorce. They kindly request that the media respect their privacy and their family. 
Friends of the couple dismissed any third-party involvement and attributed the split to David's extensive business travel, which kept him away from home. The queen was said to be saddened by the separation. In May 2022, it was reported that David had found new love within his professional circle. According to the Daily Mail, he is involved in a romance with Isabelle de la Bruyère, who is believed to be in her 50s. Isabelle holds a director position at Christie's, while David serves as the honorary chairman of the renowned London Auction House, the Royal Carpenter. Princess Margaret's children inherited their father's artistic tendencies. Known professionally as David Lindley, he revealed in an interview with Telegraph that his profound love for design was inherited from his father, the first Earl of Snowden. Inspired by his father's relentless pursuit of pushing the boundaries of object design, including the ingenious concept of making it touch the ground in two places instead of three, David reminisced about his humble beginnings, admitting that he was not initially adept at crafting. Nonetheless, his father's remarkable teaching skills played an instrumental role in shaping David's journey toward becoming the accomplished artisan he is today. In 1982, after graduating, he established his carpentry workshop above a chip shop in Dorking. Within three years, he expanded to the renowned King's Road in London, launching his brand and shop, David Lindley & Company. The company experienced rapid growth, eventually relocating to its present showroom on Pimlico Road in 1993. The company, later known as Lindley, gained a global reputation for its blend of striking design and impeccable craftsmanship. Its inception caused a stir, notably because David, as the son of Princess Margaret and Lord Snowden, represented a royal family member engaged in hands-on work and serving customers, a groundbreaking concept in the 1980s. Lindley's esteemed clientele includes notable figures such as Sir Elton John, Sir Mick Jagger, and designer Lady Weinberg. Additionally, David Lindley has had the privilege of furnishing yachts for prominent individuals like Italian fashion designer Valentino and Lebanese-Saudi socialite Muna Ayoub. The Queen Mother frequently visited the shop, and according to reports, Princess Margaret is said to have told then Prime Minister Jim Callaghan, who asked why her son had become a carpenter. Christ was a carpenter. However, he borrowed money from his own company, accumulating debts of approximately three million pounds. The issue was eventually resolved when he sold controlling shares for four million pounds in 2012. Unfortunately, as a result, he relinquished control of the company. In 2022, it was reported that he quit the company after four decades. David is also the honorary chairman of Auctioneers Christie's for Europe, the Middle East, Russia, and India. He was promoted to the role in 2015 from his former role as chairman of Christie's UK. According to Princess Margaret's biographer, Theo Aronson, David had a flair for the networking aspect of business and successfully got people to come through the doors. Princess Margaret nurtured his passion for the arts. During the early years, nannies and housemaids cared for David and Sarah, but Princess Margaret became more involved in their upbringing as they grew older. In a candid interview with The Telegraph, he fondly remembered his mother's unique perspective on their royal status, emphasizing that they were not technically royals, but simply fortunate to have the queen as their aunt. David said, Someone did once bow to me, and my mother immediately told them off, although whether she was prompted by the breach of protocol or the fact I enjoyed it a little too much, I really couldn't say. Margaret's focus as a mother was not on grooming her children for their royal lineage, but nurturing their passions and fostering a love for the arts. David humorously credited his mother with inventing the concept of antiquing and fondly recalled accompanying her to antique shops, a tradition he has continued with his children. She also introduced him to art appreciation by taking him to see one artwork at a time, exemplified by a childhood memory of visiting a Vermeer painting with her. Margaret's encouragement and guidance paid off as her children blossomed into artistic individuals leading relatively ordinary lives away from the public spotlight. During Margaret's final illness, David moved back into Kensington Palace with his wife and son, Charles, to be closer to his beloved mother. To settle the taxes on Margaret's estate after her passing in 2002, both David and Sarah had to sell a significant number of inherited pieces of jewelry, including the Lady Mount Stephen necklace, the tiara worn on Margaret's wedding day, and a diamond brooch that once belonged to the late Queen Mother, a close bond with the Queen and his royal cousins. David and his sister Sarah enjoyed a close bond with their royal cousins, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, due to their similar ages, often spending time together with Prince Charles and Princess Anne. 
The queen, who cherishes her niece and nephew, has always maintained a special relationship with them. Royal biographer Christopher Warwick shed light on their lives away from the public eye in the documentary Princess Margaret, the Rebel Royal. The queen often cared for David and Sarah when Margaret and Antony went on holidays, a responsibility that both siblings thoroughly enjoyed. As he grew up, the connection with the royal family deepened, particularly following the passing of his parents, Princess Margaret in 2002, and Antony Armstrong Jones in 2017. During poignant moments of loss within the royal family, David stood alongside Charles, Andrew, and Edward as they honored their beloved grandmother, the Queen Mother, by guarding her coffin. Further demonstrating his close family ties, David was among the few mourners who attended Prince Philip's funeral, highlighting his strong connection to his uncle-in-law. On September 17, 2022, David joined his cousins in a heartfelt vigil to remember his aunt, the Queen, who passed away on September 8th. He also took part in the Queen's funeral procession on September 19th as a tribute to her. His relationship with King Charles is also significant, as he not only shares a close bond with him, but also serves as the vice president of the Prince's Foundation, ready to step in for the King when required. Recently, he attended King's coronation alongside his children, highlighting his continued connection to royal traditions. David occasionally participates in notable events like Trooping the Color and Christmas at Sandringham. The Earl of Snowden's Surprisingly Ordinary Life David leads a refreshingly ordinary life. He prefers to cycle home from work, clad in a high-visibility jacket, often mistaken for a traffic warden. He's the epitome of down-to-earth royalty, beloved by many for his amiable nature and sociability. His idea of a perfect Sunday is after indulging in a hearty cooked breakfast, he and his family hop into an old Land Rover with their dogs and embark on another enjoyable countryside stroll. Later, they gather to savor a delectable roast or engage in some baking. David approaches cooking with precision and logic, tidying up as he goes, leaving no messy aftermath. Final thoughts. The union of Princess Margaret and Anthony Armstrong Jones was marked by a tumultuous and scandalous relationship, marred by extramarital affairs and excessive drinking, ultimately leading to their divorce. However, amidst the chaos, they managed to shield their children from public scrutiny, nurturing their artistic passions, and both turned out to be successful adults. David, in particular, has already crafted a rather impressive resume that extends far beyond his royal title. Yet, despite his achievements, he remains remarkably down-to-earth, finding contentment in life's simple pleasures, much like the rest of us. What are your thoughts? We invite you to engage in the conversation and stay updated by subscribing to Modest Narratives. Remember to explore the end screens for more exciting videos about the Earl of Snowden's sister and daughter.